All right, we're asked to find the component form and length of a vector with an initial point here at P and a terminal point at Q. All right, so uh, first the component form of a vector is, is just written this. It's V1, uh, V2, V3 inside these angled brackets here. Um, and V1 is just the distance that we've gone uh, on the x-axis, and V2 is the distance that we have gone on the y-axis. V3 is the distance we've gone on the z-axis. Um, and so V1 is going to be equal to x2 minus x1, which is negative 5 minus negative 3, which is negative 2. And then V2 is going to be equal to uh, Y2 minus Y1, which is 2 minus 4, which is negative 2 again. And then V3 is equal to Z2 minus Z3, Z1, which is uh, 2 minus 1, which is 1. So the component form of this vector is negative 2, negative 2, 1. So what, we're, what this means, this, uh, this component form here, this means we want the vector that starts at some initial point, doesn't matter where it is, starts at some initial point, and it goes uh, negative 2 on the x-axis, uh, negative 2 on the y-axis, and then up 1, on the z-axis, and if you if you go from that point to to the point that you'd reach here, that's your vector. All right, so that's the component form of this vector. Now to find the length, uh, the length is just so this is the length of the vector pq. So let's write that like that. That means the length of the vector pq. It's going to be equal to um, well, it's the the same formula that we would use for finding the distance between two points. Um, and these are all distances now. So we can just find this, uh, this length by uh, negative 2 squared. This number squared plus this number squared plus this number squared. Um, negative 2 squared is 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9, so this is the square root of 9, which is 3. Uh, of course, the square root of 9 is plus or minus 3, but we're talking about distances, so we can ignore the negative. So we have uh, the component form of this vector is going to be negative 2, negative 2, 1, and then the uh, length of the vector is 3.